Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. You will not believe what just happened to the view host, Whoopi Goldberg, all right? She just got absolutely destroyed by Donald J. Trump. Donald Trump just exposed her. And not only that, my friends, but this whole show, The View, some very weird things are going on, all right? And today, here on my show, we're gonna bring you the truth, all right? Things are not looking good for Whoopi. They are looking actually worse than ever before. So if you're a Whoopi Goldberg fan, you're probably not gonna wanna watch this video, but you should, so you can learn what's actually going on. And why is The View, guys, stepping in so hard to try to help the Democrats right now? Why are they coming out so strong in support of Kamala Harris? And why are they going out so strong against Donald J. Trump? Let me ask you, do you think America is smart enough to realize that maybe they shouldn't get their political advice from The View, from Whoopi Goldberg, from Joy Behar, who brought on Hillary Clinton to compare Trump to Hitler on their show? Give me a break. I can't believe the show's still on, all right? Before we dive in, we're going to read the Bible. We're going to pray because God comes first. Amen? Comment amen down below if you believe God comes first, okay? Today's Bible reading comes from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Amen. We do need to trust in God right now. With everything going on, guys, we're just a couple weeks away. Through what, three, four weeks away now from the November election? Like Trump said, this is the most important day in the history of our nation. And we do need to trust in God right now. <sighs> wow, my friends, it's heating up. But now let's bring you the news with Whoopi Goldberg and Donald J. Trump, shall we? All right, guys, so Trump just attacked Howard Stern and Whoopi Goldberg after their interviews with Kamala Harris. Let's tune in, guys. This is crazy. And boy, oh boy, do the people at the Trump rally do not like Whoopi Goldberg. And what's going on with Howard Stern? We gotta talk about him, too. We need a free and fair press, badly, desperately. I watched the way they asked questions of Kamala yesterday. Howard Stern, he's a weak, a weak guy, he's weak. He's going, oh, oh, what about, oh. It was so ridiculous, even she was embarrassed. It was like softball, but all of them. Howard, I, I know him very well, I was on the show many times. I used to think he was good, then I dropped him. And he, I dropped him like a dog. At, at dropped him like a dog. <laughs> Trump used to go on Howard Stern, I remember. And now Trump, guys, people, for whatever reason, I mean, why did Oprah, why did Whoopi, why did Joy, why did Barbara Walters, Howard Stern, all these guys, they used to love Trump. But then Trump says, well, I'm gonna run as a Republican to make America great again. And they go, oh, we make America great again, what? We don't want that. And his ratings are very challenged. Very challenged, but uh, I watched the questions, I watched that stupid view where you have these really dumb people. You know the view sucks, all right? The worst view ever. I can't even imagine people sit down and actually watch that show. I mean, who watches the view? Give me a break. Whoopi Goldberg said, would you participate in a movie? She made some movie on basketball. This was before the, I ran for politics. She said, oh, you're so great. If you ever ran for president, you'd win. This is Whoopi Goldberg, you don't hear that. She said, I'm making a movie. Would you be in it? I said, in what capacity? Just a walk on, you're so great. Would you do a, I did a walk on for Whoopi Goldberg. Now she says, I refuse to mention his name. You know what? Politics can do strange things to demented people. <laughs> Trump is not holding back anymore, guys. You know why people love Trump? It's because he actually speaks his mind and he relates to people. I wouldn't even go so far as to say that about Whoopi. But yeah, I am thinking it. No, I've hired Whoopi to work for me as a comedian before this stuff and a long time ago. And I went 
And, you know, I'm not particularly shy about what I hear. Her mouth was so foul, every word out of her mouth was like the F word, the this. I was with a group of people, like sort of nice people, and we had to leave. She was so filthy, dirty, disgusting. Half the place left. I said, I'd never <laughs> Trump's not holding back. He's like getting the truth out there. If you turn your back on Trump, trust me, Trump's not afraid to talk. That's the best thing about Trump and about people who aren't, you know, bowing down to donors or lobbyists. It's like Trump says whatever the heck he wants because he does not counting on anybody else except for himself. Higher again, but she was so dirty. Every word was filthy dirty, and I left. And then I see her sitting about, oh, whoopee, whoopee, oh, what a loser she is. But I watched. I watched. Look at that lady in the back. Loser. Loser. Whoopee. I watched the way they ask questions, and it's like, you know, they're on the same. They're like they're partners in this crime that's being committed. Even Joe Rogan is aware of it. Watch this, guys. Hey, everybody used to like Trump. <laughs> like the show. You ever seen like videos of Trump on The View with Barbara Walters back oh, yeah. when they liked him? Oh, you ever yeah. seen that? Uh, yes, but I can't remember what you're you referring to. You should see it because it's bonkers. This is it. Oh, watch this. This is bonkers. Go full screen. This is yeah, literally I'm bonkers. Logo and a television star. But does he really want to add president? of the United States to his resume. A lot of people would like him to. Please let's find out and please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. My friend Donald Trump is crazy. Even with Whoopi Goldberg. Friend, my friend. This was before he announced he was running as a Republican. Remember that small detail. Just, just watch this, this is nuts. We're in an alternative universe. Okay, because this is not that long ago. Go standing O. Bro, watch this. Just watch how this goes. Watch Standing this. ovation. That's Elizabeth Hesselback. So a Republican. That's easy. Yeah. But everybody else. The joy hugs. can't wait to get a hug in. Yeah, everyone's hugging. Look at this. Look at this. What about Whoopi? Hugs, kisses. Kisses Whoopi. with Whoopi. Everybody hugs and kisses. Even Joy Behar. Wow. Ain't that amazing? Right? <laughs> Ain't that amazing? This was before, remember, Joy Behar, and they brought on Hillary Clinton. They compared this man to Hitler. They said, well, it's, Joy Behar said, well, it's about, I think it's about time we lock him up. Ain't it amazing how these people were hugging and kissing old Trump, okay? Kissing his ass, okay? This is what they were doing. They were doing what they were uh, accused Republicans of doing to Trump right now, right? But this is what they were doing just 10 years ago, okay? And again, the guy hasn't changed. He's not saying anything different except that he is running for president, okay? That's the only thing that's changed. But they clearly loved him. Okay, they knew him. That's a very fair point. Trump's been very consistent with his language for for years. He goes, you know, he wants to fix our country. Personally, it was like, oh no, this is a great guy, right? He's amazing. Let's give him a standing ovation. Hugs Even and kisses. They are hugs and kisses. See? Now watch this. So I'm going to take you at your word that you have not decided yet when you're going to run, but you're thinking about it and you've expressed some of your views, uh, which are controversial and in many ways, uh, yeah, but, 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 not, but not all, to her. well, not to her, okay, you're a Republican, so, but, but let's say, let's say that you do decide in the spring, right? Um, so they already did know that he was Republican. I'm kind of confused why they still liked him, even though they knew he was Republican. And your ideas resonate so much. On the other hand, um, you know, we saw Newt Gingrich apologizing for his marriages and divorces. You've had three marriages, two sort of uncomfortable divorces. Do you think well, that the... Not really. They were very comfortable. <laughs> 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 you me you do, you, do, you, do you think... Getting that laughed. These women used to love Trump. They used to look up to him. I mean, it's such... We've seen such a shift. The way the media has put Trump in a box. It's so crazy to me, guys. Yeah, that would bother anybody? I think the country is doing so badly, they want somebody that's gonna help it. I think the country has never been in a position like it is right now. It's being ripped off by every nation, every intelligent nation in the world, whether it's China, they're taking our jobs, they're making all our product, and then they loan us back the money we pay them interest. That is Whether crazy. Whether it's OPEC. That's crazy. OPEC, which is, look at this Washington yeah. Field Day right now. How about the, the Arab League? Look they, at the way they're all looking at him talk. They all like, oh, Trump, you're so intelligent. Keep telling us more. Keep telling us more. It's like they, 
It, it, it's crazy the, the switch up we've seen. They say, we want you to go in and attack Libya. Mm -hmm. These are the wealthiest countries in the world. Why aren't they paying us? Okay, Why so then they, they changed their minds. But you didn't so have to like that. And Whoopi Goldberg's getting exposed so hard. And Joe Rogan, you know this clip of Joe Rogan watching The View? Like, this is getting millions and millions and millions of more hits. So epic. Did answer your question. Well, I really you think, think people. Won't matter. I think maybe ten years ago it would have mattered. Yeah. Five years ago, yeah. the fact is, I think people want somebody now that's going to protect them and protect this country because we're not going to be a great country for long if we keep going the way we're going right now. It's a business, but it's also a business with heart. We will destroy. It's like a business. No, no, a business with heart. Okay. Believe me, it's there's a lot of heart. It's a business, but it's also a business with heart. We will destroy this country. It won't be a war if the economics of this country keep going the way they're going. We're not going to have Could a you, country. You're kind of a social liberal, Donald. You know, you're a social liberal. Could you actually get the base to vote for you in the primary? Well, every poll is saying that I'm the one that does the best. They you know, do, they're they, doing polls. They actually have you a higher approval rating than Mitt Romney, Tim Pawlenty, uh, John Boehner. So let's just pause and think. Just... So he's very poised, he's Let's listening, just he's grass. Like, yeah. <laughs> the 180. Yeah. <laughs> that the media has taken on him yeah. since he decided to be president. Yeah. When you see the machine go after a guy, we've never seen the machine go after someone as bold faced. You know, the prosecutions, the yeah. Russia Gate stuff on yeah. television every night, all of it. It's, yeah. And then to see just a few years ago. They loved him. So why Whoopi Goldberg won't say Trump's name? I didn't realize there's like a beef going on here. Watch this, guys. We still have so much to do right now. I mean, we still have 16 women who are accusing the man in charge. You're talking about the president? Yeah. You never say his name. I don't. Why? Uh, I can't. Really? It's only one syllable. I know. Why can't Whoopi Goldberg say Trump's name? I know. Do you think that it... It somehow honors him to use his name? In conjunction with that word, yeah. You mean president? Uh-huh. I yeah. see. Yeah. But you recognize that he is the president. I, you know, I, he's there, <laughs> you know. Well, this was obviously while Trump was serving as president. Listen, I, this is the first time where I can't wrap my mind around this. I don't understand the type of person Whoopi Goldberg is and these types of liberals who hate Trump so much, the bottom of their core, like it makes them sick to even say his name. Like I just, I don't understand this mindset. Do you guys? And that people felt the need to put this in. So yeah, I know people don't like that I don't do it. I'm fine with that. There's lots of stuff I do people don't like. You know, I, I can live with it. There was some, a great deal of controversy uh, about your defense of, of Bill Cosby. Whoopi Goldberg defended Bill Cosby? What? Well, and here, let's, let's be clear. I had questions. So I said I have questions, and apparently people didn't understand it because people didn't remember the things that I remember. The Duke Lacrosse boy. Yeah, Whoopi Goldberg is just way too smart for everybody, guys. That's the whole, that's the whole reason why she defended Bill Cosby. Why do people even listen to Whoopi Goldberg in the first place? Kamala Harris doesn't go out and talk that many times. Why is she on The View? Oh, this is where Kamala Harris is going to reveal her plan for America. I don't get it at all. But how many times do we have to, do we need to see why people also get beaten before anybody will do anything? Yeah, so first of all, this is unbelievably stupid. Yep. We've seen many, many cases of police brutality against white people. The Daniel Shaver, 2016, significantly worse than what we saw with Tyree Nichols. I mean, Tyree Nichols is really, really, really bad. Here's Whoopi Goldberg confused. Watch this. We're saying that when Donald Trump becomes president, he's going to disappear the gays. Are you kidding me? I'm going to be on day one. I'm going to be a dictator. I'm going to take all the gay folks. I'm going to move you all around and disappear you. <laughs> what? Where does Whoopi... How does... How is this show still on? How is she able... I mean... And it's not just, oh yeah, that's that's The View. Nobody watches that. No, The View brings on Kamala Harris. The View brought on Joe Biden. The View brought on Hillary Clinton. Like, people watch that show. So you can't make the defense. Well, don't listen to Whoopi. Don't take advice from Whoopi. Well, it's like, you can't, you can't have both sides. It's like, you can't have the best of both, wor both worlds here. Whoopi says she wasn't in love with any of her husbands. Watch this, guys. 
you talked about husbands. Yeah. You were married three times, mm -hmm. and you have said that you were not in love with any of them and that you're not meant for marriage. Yeah. Well, why are you not meant for marriage? You don't want to share? Why do people look up to Whoopi? <laughs> she got married several times and wasn't in love with any of them. I mean, this woman sucks. She's like worse than Michelle Obama. Like Michelle Obama went on TV and said, well, for 10 years of my marriage, I didn't even like my husband. By saying this, it's like there were 10 years well, I couldn't stand my husband. <laughs> you know, you say that. You ten say long ten years. And ten long years, she said, where I couldn't stand my husband. It's like, why do people look up to these women who don't like their husbands? It's so strange to me. No offense, but like Barack Obama deserves better. We had your wife Michelle on the show, and she had mentioned that for about ten years of the marriage, she really didn't like you. Oh man. Um, so asking for a friend, um, how do you get back in good graces? <laughs> Again, for a friend. You got a pen, so I'll take a note. Let me, let me just say this. Again, just for a friend. Hey, how do you get back in good graces with your wife who doesn't, couldn't even stand you for 10 years? And it's like, remember, Michelle Obama went snorkeling with Steven Spielberg and shirtless Tom Hanks. She basically left her husband behind to go hanging out with shirtless Tom Hanks on Steven Spielberg's $250 million super yacht. It's like, this is nasty behavior from a woman. I mean... I just like why these women you wonder why liberal chicks are like the worst people to date because they are the ones who want to wear the pants in the relationship like they want the power they want to date these beta males or in Whoopi Goldberg's case you know she doesn't even fall in love with anybody it's weird we live in a very strange world where people look up like this is Michelle Obama, who leaves her husband at home while she goes on vacations with shirtless Tom Hanks. And then you got Bill Clinton having an affair on Hillary with Monica Lewinsky. These are the people who who we look up to. I mean, what what is going on? Whoopi Goldberg has a plan to stop Fox News. Be against the law. You should not be able yeah. to lay, to lie to the American, knowingly. What do we do as Americans to to say this is not okay. You have to say it in the First Amendment. Yeah. I think you, well, I, no, well, but the I, First I, Amendment doesn't allow you to willingly lie. Whoopi, you human whoopee cushion. Yes, the First Amendment does allow you to willingly lie. You have lied, and the ladies that you sit next to have lied about virtually everything for the past five years. Very fine people on both sides. The COVID vaccine works. Now let's tune in to uh, the Michael Rubin report about Whoopi Goldberg Goldberg's Trump past gets exposed and she's furious. Let's watch this, guys. It's time for another roundtable extravaganza. There's something I love about this clip, Aaron, because Trump has a way of getting people to expose themselves for exactly who they are. Like, he'll have her being like, yeah, I am nasty and filthy, and I do chop my genitals off, and I, blah, blah, blah. It's just, it really is his superpower at this point. Yeah, but the funny thing with all, with the ladies of The View specifically is you just know they want him to win because he is how they have content. Right, right. And, and and it's like, I wonder, I actually wonder if Whoopi, especially Sonny, I wonder if Sonny Hawson's going to walk into that voting booth and actually pull the lever for Trump because she, they all know the economy's going to be better under Trump. They know their ratings are going to be better under Trump. What are they going to do if Kamala wins? Pull that dead weight. Emily and I talk about this a lot, how, how the media apparatchiks and the ladies of The View and all these guys, they all have to do so much legwork to make Kamala likable to cover up for her. So, yeah, I remember when Trump lost against Joe Biden, the all the main, mainstream media like still um, like I was checking the news every single day. Trump still on the headlines. It's like they all hate Trump, but they can't stop talking about him. I think I think really. They, they love the attention. They love being noticed by Trump. They, they've loved him for decades. They liked him when he was a celebrity. And now they're just pretending, right? But it's, it's all an act. And they know things will be better under Trump. So Trump is exposing the truth. And peep, they used to love him. It's crazy. So massive update with Whoopi Goldberg. Truth is coming out. Let me know your thoughts down below, guys.